और अभी आपको सीधे लिए चलते हैं दिल्ली के नेशनल मीडिया सेंटर जहां सरदार पटेल मेमोरियल लेक्चर 2016 में सूचना एवं प्रसारण राज्य मंत्री राज्यवर्धन सिंह राठौर संबोधित कर रहे हैं प्रैक्टिसिंग बैरिस्टर इन गुजरात क्लब सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल हैपन टू हियर द स्पीच ऑफ महात्मा गांधी एंड दैट मूव हिम that uh, perhaps uh, inspired him to do something what mahatma was doing he waited for a couple of more years and after another satyagraha satyagraha that mahatma gandhi took he then joined him he he gave up his western clothing he started uh, wearing the the dhoti and the khadis and joined mahatma gandhi in his endeavor to free india once he took on the political life he took part in various uh, satyagrahas he became a counselor in ahmedabad stayed on as a counselor for about 10 years and perhaps at that time he started the swachhta abhiyan in ahmedabad and he could actually be called as the father of all swachhta abhiyans he himself took to the broom he started from the harijan basti from the dalit colony there and he did this repeatedly to set about an atmosphere of cleanliness he stayed at the council for 10 years like i said became the president as well there and then he got greater responsibilities it was in one of the satyagrahas in bardoli that he was named as hamara sardar by the kisans who were there and that upadhi that uh, stuck with him throughout his life being called the sardar vallabh bhai patel once he became got the responsibility as uh, in the elected government he became the first uh, deputy prime minister he became the first home minister and i can proudly say that he also became the first information broadcasting minister of the country also dopt <laughs> dopt was part of home ministry at that time yeah he had the department of dopt as well with him that's news to me with all those responsibilities i think there were two critical things that he did one when kashmir was attacked in october 1947 he along with sardar baldev singh who was then the raksha mantri landed in shrinagar airport on the 4th of november now that was the time when the tribal pashtuns were nearly as close to shrinagar airport that the landings were ha, landings actually took place with great difficulty he managed to land there in such an environment he took a briefing from the brigadier who was posted there brigadier lp sen lp sen flew back to delhi organized the organized the armed army sent in reinforcements there and to a very large extent managed to push back the militia that had come across from pakistan and he literally saved kashmir the point to highlight here is at that point of time prime minister nehru was also being briefed by one of the brigadiers in the army and the prime minister felt situation was normal and so that's the catch there that the home minister was able to understand the situation was able to go to a military to a war scenario himself exposing himself to the dangers assess the situation what actually existed take the field decisions that were important for the country and send in the reinforcements in time to save kashmir not just that he also reconnected kashmir shrinagar with jammu with the telecommunications telegraph that time wireless roads connection of bridges he also moved the maharaja's family to jammu and reestablished kashmir his second most important what he did for the country was 565 princely states unification of so many princely states is not an easy task and at a time when you can imagine 
just one state can create a problem that exists till today. Just imagine what 565 could have done. Just imagine about 100 Kashmiris in India. Or imagine independent states within the territory of India. And how much trouble can they cause? With coercion, with diplomacy, sometimes with police action. Within about a year to two years, he managed to unite all the 565 princely states. He also established the Indian Information System, uh, in, uh, I'm sorry, Indian Information Service, which is still date serving the, the whole country. And to, for this, this entire task that he had done, for 30 years that he had served the country, surprisingly, there's no memorial for him in our country. Perhaps it's only this government. तो सरदार पटेल मेमोरियल लेक्चर 2016 में सूचना एवं प्रसारण राज्य मंत्री राजवर्धन सिंह राठौर संबोधित कर रहे थे